more importantly it's that body mold because there's a physiological change that corresponds with that body mold. Robertson Farm Raising Pigeons. James here. Hope this finds everyone doing well as always. Once again guys, probably about a month and a half behind where I should be on young birds just because I've been focused so much on breeding this year. But anyways, we'll see what we can do here. Just putting the young birds out in this cage. This is just a giant kind of standard dog crate. It's not in great condition as you can see, but hey, it works. So what I've been doing is putting them in this, letting them spend the day out on this little landing board. Ideally, what I would do is build, well, what I need to do is build my landing board out a little bit more, make it longer and out a little bit more, and then build a settling cage that extends up there so they can actually fly up and kind of walk around up on the loft, top of the loft and fly back down and drop through and get comfortable with that whole process. When they're just on this landing board, they don't really get to see all of their surroundings. They just get to see what's in front of them. And that's what they see. They don't get to see what's back there. I just about tripped. They don't get to see what's back there. So being up on top would be a good thing. And then having them be able to practice going from there to there and all that is also good. But anyways, hopefully lots of time on this landing board helps them feel secure with the landing board and uh you know ideally they would just come land on this landing board and not the roof of the loft anyway so maybe we can use it to our advantage but for now i'm getting these young birds out on here we'll take a look at them there's one of our original poop pail babies turned out nice. Oh, there's the other original poop pill youngster. Yeah. These guys turned out nice. Happy with them. You can see that shaped up really well. Alright guys, time to go outside. 122, the first of the poop pills. Let's just see here. Um... Two, four, six, growing the seventh, the eight is the original, and the nine and ten. Oh, you can just, you can just barely see them poking up. That's actually not, just barely see them poking up through there. There it is. All right. Oh, you got poop on my finger, thanks. Appreciate that. I love you too. It does not want to come off. <laughs> I successfully flicked it off. Now it's stuck on my leg. <laughs> I'm just going to go inside. I give up. All right. Poop pail youngster. 122. But yeah. Yeah, we'll check one or two others and see if we see that ninth and 10th starting to come out. <laughs> but basically, they need to be to uh, the point where their ninth and 10th is already out or very close to being completely grown in. But we'll see what we can do. It is what it is. Here's the other original poop pail youngster. He's really light, but still packed muscle like that that's perfect that's what we like to see in our birds you can see it's a little bit it's not a small bird definitely a cock molting hard on the back of the head there they've got to get through that body molt that's actually more important than the flights in my opinion and the reason for that is is birds are not 
mature until they have their adult plumage. Okay, let's see if we can see the flight on this, these guys. Uh, there they are, just coming in, those little baby guys. Let's see it right there. <laughs> oh boy. All right. The Poop Pail Youngsters. From humble beginnings. <laughs> They've made it this far. All right, let's take a look at this wing. Yep, there they are. It's two flight feathers right there coming in. Right there. Nine and ten. All right, and I feel the need to dispel any thoughts that all my birds are holy cow type of birds. So this one, I can't even remember who this bred out of. Actually, I think I know. And that pair usually cranks out amazing birds. But look, I call this one fantail. <laughs> Oh, fantail. <laughs> Maybe I'll start a new breed. Racing fantails. Always pokes his tail out. Fantail. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Oh, boy. Racing fantails, exclusive. Robertson family racing pigeon breed. <laughs> Fantail. There they are. Look at that, we got two frills right in a row. That one has a frill and that red one has a frill. It's my first year ever having frills. We got three of them. Enjoy, guys. Once again, we're putting birds out on the landing board. This time I'm sticking them through the trap, going this direction. Good job, birds. Okay, I've got them all out there. We're gonna let them sit for a little while and then I will call them in to eat. Look at the way that one's shaping up. Just so curious what it's gonna be like when it has that body mold. 111, that's one of my favorites. Love that bird. Purple Greek and Rosalind Franklin. Um, I sent a nest mate to the Black Gold Race. So hopefully that one will be doing well for us. There they are, they're out there still. Now, time to let them in. Got the food ready. Just gonna change their water, but I'll do that while they're eating. So, let's go ahead and do this. Oh yeah, you guys are ready, aren't ya? You guys are ready, right? Yes, oh yes. I'm gonna make you drop through the trap though, not just hop up here. Okay, you're gonna have to drop down. Come on, guys. I know you're hungry. Oh, 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 here we 
go. Here we go. Good job, birds. I'll grab your water for you. Man, I've been changing the brakes on my car, and it's a newer car. And it's not the same as doing it on an old car. <laughs> oh boy, I'm not a mechanic. All right, well, we'll get these guys taken care of. All right, let's check on the flights. How are they coming? No, nope, there they are. So look at that. They're about one third of the way through, one third to a half. Yeah, about one third. Okay. Nice, you can see this one is getting that body molt on, on its face, pretty good. So once again, the body molt is more important than molting out the flights. Yeah, the flights are good, but more importantly is that body molt because there is a physiological change that corresponds with that body molt. Basically they become um, sexually mature birds um, as they go through the molt and go from their juvenile plumage to their adult plumage. And once they get that adult plumage, they have, they've gone through that physiological change and they are adults and they are sexually mature. So, you know, if uh, you know, you're racing birds that have not gone through that body molt against birds that have, I mean, that's like racing human adolescent children <laughs> against college athletes there's just not going to be a contest so that's why the body mold is so important happy to see that those flights are coming in pretty quickly 141 I need to come up with a good name for this one it's a hen out of falcon cantador hen oh my goodness i like this bird flights are all right buddy sweetheart all right time to let these guys in let's see if they're any faster this time around oh i think they're ready you guys ready okay i'm gonna put this up and you guys can come in let's go Right off the bat, they're coming in. Come on. I think that's it. Nope. 
Nope. One more. There we go. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Good birds.